Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I make my Instax 3 invisible dive case videos. So if you're interested, stick around and I'm going to show you how I do this from beginning to end. So on the camera, we're going to change the 5.7K to 4K50. 4K50 is going to eliminate most of the blur and make the video super sharp. So the next setting we're going to change is the video sharpness. You're going to take your video sharpness from high and make it medium or low. I usually choose medium. I find it gives me the best sharpness. I don't like adding sharpness in post. And then the last magical setting is the color profile. Change your standard to log. Log gives you the most dynamic range. So after you've recorded your video, you gotta reframe it in the Insta360 Studio app. I export all my files in 50 frames per second, 1920 by 1080 and H.264. And then you take all these files and then you put them into a video editor. After you've put all your files together and you've made your movie, don't forget to color grade it by adding an adjustment layer. I just use the Insta360 LUT. It works really good for most of what I do. You usually have to boost the shadows and lower the whites just a little bit so they're not clipping. And then add just a touch of color to adjust to your preference. My video editor of choice is Filmora. It's just easy to use. But you can use with any video editor you want. All of this will apply to just about any editor out there. And then when all that's done, you're going to export your file as 1920 by 1080 at 23.97 frames per second. And then after all that's done, it's time to export and move on to the next step. And this is where the magic begins. I use a video software called Topaz Video AI. It's an AI video enhancement software. You take your clip that you just created with your last program and you drag it into Topaz video AI right now I'm scrubbing through to look for something that has a lot of detail so I can see what I'm doing in Topaz and then once you're in Topaz you're going to change your video resolution from upscaling to 3840 by 2160 which is 4k In Topaz, I used the Proteus model, but I changed the settings to manual, and then I hit an estimate. So after you change the thing to manual, you can adjust some of the sliders here. I usually adjust my improved detail up to like 60 to 70 percent, somewhere in that range, and then I preview it to see how it looks. If I like how it looks, and all the lines are straight, and there's no more noise and jagged edges <clears throat> it's time to export topaz is going to create a new file next to the old file that you just dragged in <clears throat> and you're going to take that file and you're going to upload it to youtube and that's going to be your final 4k enhanced image or video well guys that's how i do my video and this is the final project